Copernio is a web browser extension from Web of Science. It helps you get to the full text PDF of an article quickly. It currently works with Web of Science, PubMed, and across thousands of publishers' websites. It is only available through Chrome right now, so you do need to use Google Chrome. Go to the Chrome Web Store, search for Copernio, click Add to Chrome, click Add to ex Add Extension. The first time you use this, you will need to log in because you need to create an account. So first name, last name, email address. You'll notice that step three up here is institution. You will need to select Molloy College. That lets Copernio know that you have access to the library's resources. I already have an account. I'm going to sign it. And once I sign in, I will be brought to my account to my locker, which is where you can save PDFs while you're doing your search across the web. Settings will have more options so that you can update your information. Integrations, I like to leave this on Web of Science because it allows me to directly search using that web browser extension button. And my reference manager of choice is Zotero. Let me pin Copernio to my toolbar so you can see what happens. So when I did a search in PubMed, I now see the buttons popping up for Copernio. I can view the PDF or I can search the library for the PDF. When I view the PDF, it will automatically save to my locker because that's how I have my settings. And then I can download, share, export, use any of these other options on the right hand side. Same idea if I went directly to a publisher's website. So I went directly to Science Direct. And then the login screen for the library came up because Copernio knows that this is not a free article, but that the library has access to it. So once I log in, I will be able to see the full text PDF using the button in the lower left hand corner. And then same thing, it'll save to my locker. I can download, share, cite, export, do all of that. One last cool feature is that when you click on the actual extension button, a search box will pop up for Web of Science. So you don't need to go to the library's web page, go to A to Z databases, go to Web of Science. You can use, you do your search directly in that box and Copernio knows what we have access to in the Web of Science database.